Hey, Sagi baby, let's do your quick energy read. Hope you're having a good day. You did or you will, right? Um, you're having a spiritual awakening. Are you a, your spiritual growth is getting higher? You're looking like the ideal man or woman. Are you about to have the ideal man or woman come up to you that's just as spiritual as you? And it won't be any conflict or issues to deal with when it comes to this person. Yeah, they're wealthy and stable. <clears throat> so they're in a water earth energy. So you might be about to meet someone. If it's not a water earth energy, you about to meet someone that's the ideal man or woman that you've been looking for. And they're financially stable. They don't have any drug addictions. They don't have anything that's going to turn you off. Or they can be open with their feelings. They use their intuition. Even when it comes to the money, honey. They blessed. And you're about to get a fast movement about it. Or a message. Yeah, it's just not... In reverse, this water earth sign you could be dealing with. Um, they won't release their feelings. They're not changing. That's why you re-silenced on them. Or you're not putting much energy into them. Because they refuse to change the Scorpio Taurus. Okay. You want the energy read with me? Description box, community board, $20, cash app, PayPal. Email me so we can set an appointment. But if you cash app me with your number on it, I'll get to you faster. Yeah, this is not the right time. You don't feel like this situation hold... Uh, any value or this person might be feeling this is not the right time to approach you. What situation in your life no longer holds value? So someone is holding value to you, but it's not the right time. Maybe it's for this person that will not change. Yes, be patient. Good things come to those who wait. So give it a minute. Are you not having any conflict? And you about to send a message or a fast movement because... This person is not changing. They still want to just have sex. They still just want to play around because you know they have a problem with their sexuality. The person that won't change. Yeah, and it's a water earth sign. Water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now it's not the right time for them. But be patient. Because you're putting a block up to this devil energy. Probably don't want to have sex with them no more or anything. Be patient because someone's going to want to take you on a date. A water earth energy is going to want to take you on a date. that do have their shit together. Or someone that's good with their feelings and are well grounded with the earth energy. Water is feelings. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distanced from each other. So it's a no for this person that you see, you see won't change because they sexuality. They can't figure themselves out or they're in the closet or something. Yeah, they're not manifesting anything.
be patient. Someone's going to take you on a date and then they're going to want to change residence and move in with the partner. They're going to want to change residence and move in with you if you just focus on what you need to do with this nine, resilience. And this person that want to change, they're going to have some kind of health issues pretty soon. So that's why you need to let this go. When it comes to this water, earth, energy. So don't let the signs fool you. It could just be someone you're dealing with. When it comes to water, they, they don't know how to control their emotions. They could be a narcissist. They're not emotionally intelligent. Or they act like a big-ass kid. Or they are a big-ass kid. It's not acting. And that's why they're not making any progress when it comes to money in their life. Or uh, the money that they getting might be a lot to them, but it can't. It's not this stable. It cannot get them a home. It cannot uh, get them anything stable in their life where you're going to have to help them. You know how to build on your own, and you're about to meet someone that know how to build on their own. And this part of this person is not manifesting you, so you don't know them yet. So let's get these angel colors real quick. I didn't plan to do a reading, but where I gotta go pay my bill, they don't close open anytime soon, so. Yeah, wedding in reverse. Maybe for now because you haven't met the person. Or maybe this person was thinking about marrying you, the one you was already dealing with, and that's not fit to happen. It's a no. Because you deserve love. They came reverse. This person not giving you love and it's been too long. They they times been up and they not getting that because they're a kid. They think that because you probably talk to them, text them, had sex with them, gave them money, or you being nice to them, that you must not have a problem with what they're doing, or that they can keep secrets from you, or this is why they try not to talk to you as much, but they don't really want to leave you alone because they're scared you're going to figure out that they're probably on the down low. Uh, yeah, no heart-to-heart -heart talks. What did I tell you? They came in reverse about this person with their sexuality. So with this water earth energy, they're not staying optimistic. That not staying optimistic under the uh wedding. So maybe they feel like they're not going to find anyone to marry a new person. That's why they haven't manifested anything. Yeah, honeymoon fell on date. That fell on devil in reverse, huh? Sounds beautiful. Love yourself first, yeah. They came in reverse. This person's not loving themselves first. And that's probably... <clears throat> What you're going to show them or why you're not talking to them or why you're just being cordial with them. Maybe you scared this person <clears throat> is going to give you problems, start popping up at your house or acting crazy and shit. Or maybe you just have told this person over and over again and now you about to show them. But yeah, whoever's not manifesting anything... Like a wedding, this person is ready to get married. But they haven't released their feelings with, to you with this nine in reverse. But they're going to want to get engaged with you, honey. They're going to want to move in with you and change their residence. Or you will be moving in with them and changing your residence. And you're going to go quiet. Yeah, you're going to release your ex. Oh, okay. For this honeymoon. Because they probably feel like they don't deserve love. 
They probably happy with just getting money. And the sad part is when this person gets sick when they older, when this person start going through things in their life, they going to remember you. Yeah, you're going to be getting to know each other and it's going to make this person sick. Because you're not going to want to engage with them. You probably give everybody a fair chance to get to know you and be honest with them. You know, I feel like people, you don't need nobody to validate you. So that's why you don't cheat. So I feel like people that cheat, they need someone to validate them. <laughs> you probably look good or have your shit together where you can, if one don't act right, you'll just get out there again and find someone else. You don't need to have a backup. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Yeah. And I also feel like you treat people the way you want to be treated. You know what single really is. And single is not just sleeping with people because you're single. Or, uh, you could focus on one person and really capture if they good or not when you're not dating a lot of people. You tend to put up, and this is probably why your person keep going back to the same people or dealing with the same people or not watching the red flags or getting fucked over because they dealing with so many people. You you tend to be, excuse me, more passive because you have someone. So say you have someone cheat on you or you have someone that do you wrong. This person, they have someone doing them wrong or playing games with them. They'll just go play or replace them because they never leave them, but they'll just go on to the other people they have in line. But they always go back and forth, back and forth, where they might not see that this person's not attracted to them. They might not see that this person's putting on the front that they have their life together. It's easier, I'm trying to say, to play games with someone when you can't focus on one person. People don't believe in me. Yeah, these people don't believe in you and you do not deserve the way they're treating you. This person cry at night. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. They were so nasty and rude to you, so they're not crying because uh, they want to be with you. They're crying because they feel like they missing out. They're crying because they can't make you uh, act right and put up with their bullshit. They're crying because they want your money. They're crying because they want to be you. This is like a kid in an adult body. I'm stuck in a vision of us together. And that's sad. Why can't I move on from you? And the people don't believe in me. So this person feel like nobody believes in them, but they nobody has any reason to believe in them. Believe in them. You see how delusional they kind of are? Nobody wants to put up my shit. Nobody wants to play mommy daddy with me. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. Yeah, this person was very nasty and rude like they are with other people and people put up with that shit. So they probably didn't even understand that, say you're not the only grown, mature person and not mature but fully developed person that they was dealing with. They probably thought them people thought they was, they probably thought those people were stuck up or didn't know what they were thinking or tried their best to get them to uh, participate in their bullshit just like you want. And then the but they had more people that was willing to participate in their bullshit because we have a lot of narcissists out here. Good people are rare, and now they get that. Now they get... So I guess these people that left them alone that was probably normal or good people, they uh didn't care to teach them a lesson. You know, they didn't care to deep look within this person. Maybe they didn't... um make an impact on this person enough to make them see or feel different or to realize that this is not normal what you're doing or that you can't keep secrets and be in a relationship. Even though this person was 
uh, repeatedly going through the same things because they are narcissists, it's hard for them to break the habit. They get off on being sneaky. They get off on um, lying. And the 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 more you have, the smarter you are. They get off on thinking they deceive a more smarter person. But you probably was more understanding with this person. You probably showed them, hey, this is where it's at. Following your dreams and goals. And you're doing it. They want to be in leadership. They want to act grown. They want to uh, look like they're stable. And that's what you showed them. Maybe they didn't understand how everyone else was doing it and they seen how you were doing it. Or the sacrifice you put up to do it. Or the way you talked to them or handled the situation. You gave them what they what they gave you, you mirrored them. So then they got to reflect on the bullshit life they had. Them other people did not mirror them because they probably was not their soulmates. Yeah, childhood trauma. They stuck in the vision of you because they have childhood trauma. And you're the first person to understand that. I'm afraid to lose you. Release your ex. That's what that fell on. If I could go back in time, I would use a different way to solve my problems. But they, they're they not capable of using a different way to solve their problems. If they don't know their sexuality, they're on the down low, and they can't tell you that. They can't figure out a different way to solve the problems if they have childhood trauma, and they think that they need people to believe in them to do better. So, yes, let's see what else we have. I think that's it for now. I hope you have a good day. And let me know if you didn't. We can do an energy read.